welcome back, gay schools and everyone in between, to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Welcome back to another trailer reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to the trailer of the new movie, Fall, right. which is due to come out not in fall, actually due to come out next month. All right. <laughs> Pretty soon. It's actually, I feel like all these movies are now like hitting us like hardcore right now. Yeah. We have Halloween Ends coming out soon. Uh, we have Nope coming out soon. Oh my God. I don't know if I'm ready. Now, let's read the synopsis to this movie. For best friends, Becky and Hunter, life is all about conquering fears and pushing limits. However, after they climb 2,000 feet to the top of a remote abandoned radio tower, they find themselves stranded with no way down. Now, something about me is that I do not like heights. Mm -hmm. I actually despise it. <laughs> I, you, I freak out, right? You do. Even on a Ferris wheel. You do. On a Ferris wheel, I yelled at Cody because I did not want him to move because I thought we were just going to drop to our death. Oh, yeah. Even in the Tower of Terror where you are strapped in. I was going to throw up. I was going to. I was just like, you know what? Take me now, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I'm not a huge fan of heights either, but I don't get quite as like dizzy as you do looking down at stuff. Oh, yeah. And I feel like that's what this movie is going to be, is just a bunch of looking down at stuff. You know they're going to be like, look, the ground is really far down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're going to put it in our faces. They're just like, ooh, we're high up. Um, but 2,000 feet, we did actually look it up. And if you take the Space Needle in Seattle, that's where it is, right? Yes. If you take the Space Needle in Seattle, but add two more on top of that, that's just about how high up it is. Yep. And that's a no for me. That's yeah. a big no. I don't know if the, the audience, do you guys agree? <laughs> well, and I wonder, like, I feel like a 2,000 foot tall radio tower is kind of crazy because that would be like the fourth tallest building in the world. I wonder if maybe like they climb up a mountain or something and then it's like on top of that. It's a total of 2,000 feet. Oh, it could feet. be. I don't know. Um, but the movie's going to tell us one way or the other. And you know there's going to be something about like, oh, no, they can't get down. Or like they broke their <laughs> arm and they can't climb. And now what do we do? Uh, all, all the all the hijinks ensue. Oh, no. Now, something that I just found out because I just Googled fall movie 2022 is that Mason Gooding is in this movie. Mm -hmm. And Mason Gooding is quickly climbing up the zaddy. Um, charts and for we, all of us after uh, Scream 5. Yeah, we <laughs> did love him in Scream. We did. I, I thought he was amazing, and I'm so glad that we're seeing more of him in movies. Um, do you think he's going to survive this one? Do you think he's going to be part of the escapades that we're about to see? Mm. I feel like he'll be at least part of it. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it would be a lot to have him like fully plummet to his death, uh, like almost half a mile. But first 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> For the first 10 minutes, it's just him falling. <laughs> oh my God. Then we like check back on him later on in the movie, like 30 minutes later, he's still falling. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I think that we'll see some of him. I feel like they're going to at least get most of the way up before things start going bad. But before we get into the trailer, you know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Also, if you'd like to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Oh, God, not rock climbing. This is climbing. giving me, like, very 127 hours. No! We knew it! A horrible well, there you thing go. happened to you. I just want you to be able to move on with your life. Come here. It's coming up on a year. I have something that's planned, and I need a partner in crime. The B-67 TV tower. I haven't climbed since... Becky, if you don't confront your fears, you are always going to be afraid. <gasps> Let's do it. Let's climb your stupid tower. Oh, I'm so oh. excited! Tell you again. I was really ripped. You're awesome. That is the Becky that we need for this trip. This is sick. Damn it, Hunter. What are you getting us into? 
That is too tall. Oh my god, I feel it okay. in my okay, groin. One wrong at a time. See? It's easy. You're doing great. Becky, you gotta come up here. I don't believe that she would have been able to like catch that by herself. Hunter, how do we get down? I don't have a signal. The water is down there in that bag. We have 50 feet of rope. I think I can drop myself lower. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna jump onto the bag. Hunter, no! Hunter! Every hour that passes, the weaker we get. If anyone called 911, they'd be here by now. Is it that Dan used to say, if you're scared of dying, don't be afraid of it? Uh-uh. No. This is my worst nightmare. This is legit awful. Like, I'm sure it's going to be a good movie, but I am going to complain every single minute of it. <laughs> I'm going to say the same thing that I said when we covered The Descent. If they had just called somebody ahead of time, told them where they were going i feel like you kind of need somebody None of like this shit would have happened just stay in the car just yeah. stay in the car we'll be right to, we'll be right down you know just make sure i mean i don't even know if you can see them from all the way up there right well, i don't think you'd be able to be like oh are they okay are they like mm -mm. or can you have signal with a walkie-talkie no probably not well right? it, it'll probably be choppy yeah it might depend on how good the walkie-talkie is um but yeah, it just seems like a bad idea to go up on this old radio tower that isn't really functioning anymore. Yeah, um, not good. I mean, there is a little bit of element of, there's a little bit of disconnect for me because I kind of can tell that the ground is a little bit of CGI. Mm -hmm. Like they're definitely not up there all the way up there. You don't think that they built a 2000 foot tall <laughs> radio tower? From scratch. From scratch and just had to them this? climb. And they just like flew them on a hair, uh, hair copter, <laughs> helicopter and dropped them off there. No, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like they could have taken like footage of the ground from really high up and then just made it, you know, fixed it a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, at least that's what I'm telling myself, that this is CGI. They're literally in a room and they're not that far down. But honestly, all of this gives me like that pit of my stomach, you know, feeling. Which is not good. Also, we totally called that uh, Mason Gooding was just going to die off the Yeah, bat. yeah. We'll just get <laughs> It's going to be like the first five minutes of the movie. All right. They're rock climbing. Cool. Done. He dead. All done, right. done, done. We're, we're just no more Mason Gooding. Instead, we are going to have somebody who, of course, is scarred from of climbing course. and then decides to just go do it. You know, she needs to prove herself. She needs to have a reason to yep. do it. Um, do you think they're going to get out of this alive? I think at least one of them is going to. I don't think they're both going to live. I, um, I think that the friend, uh, the, the girl who, uh, who was doing this to overcome her fears. I think she's going to definitely live. I think yeah. her friend might not. And I, I'm i just like, I have no idea how they plan to get down from there. Unless it's going to be something that like uh, a plane flying by sees the girl and they like radio down to somebody. Yeah, I think that's the only possible way. But I mean, no one's going to like this radio tower until unless there's other like thrill seekers who are like ah oh, they already went up there goodbye <laughs> no unless they like i don't know try to do something where like they fall and like catch one of the guide wires and like glide down with something but i That's feel like it would true. just cut right through anything that they well what i was gonna say is that this kind of and let's not get confused because it's gonna sound confusing at first but it kind of reminded me of the movie frozen not uh -huh. Elsa and Anna mm. frozen. Let me let me just clear that up. <laughs> Imagine people were just like the Disney movie. Mm -hmm. What? No, I am thinking of. I actually don't know what year it came out. I'll post it here, but I'll post the poster of it too. The movie Frozen. It was about a bunch of friends who, over the weekend, they got stuck in the ski lift mm -hmm. while they were on a, at a ski resort, and people forgot about them and they left them there. And they're pretty high up, so that means they kind of had to figure out 
um, how they could get down. And for me, I love how they can take such a simple twisted plot where it's like, oh, what if you were just stuck in the middle of the ski lift? But they were also, they also managed to make it entertaining and also horrifying at the same time. Yeah. Um, I recommend going to see, going to see that movie frozen uh it's really good i i think that you enjoyed it but i also think you picked it apart yes like you were like, like that this sounds doesn't like make sense I, well i remember liking most of the movie um there were definitely parts where i was like no i don't really buy that but yeah here i mean at least in that movie they made it like make sense why they just got left up on the ski lift with this it just seems like they're like hey let's go do this thing they that told could nobody kill us and not tell anybody which is the dumbest decision well her father who looks like a very famous person doesn't he play that guy in the walking dead i don't know i never watched the walking dead oh uh, well i think he is uh, okay i believe actor you. name here they made a point to tell us that they have somebody that they talked to either i think it's the dad or somebody else but maybe he's gonna find a way maybe we'll have a subplot of him trying to figure out like oh i didn't hear back from my daughter let me go maybe. find her um but i'm very interested because the runtime on google said it's an hour and 47 minutes wow. so i'm only guessing that mason gooding is is in a lot more and maybe she'll have like some flashbacks yeah um as to you know previous times or with him um, but overall, he comes down as an angel and picks her up off the thing and flies her to the ground. That's what's going to happen. Exactly. He actually didn't plummet to his death. He actually is telekinetic and able to just fly. He's Superman. He is Superman. This is the Superman origin story. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, overall, I'm excited. I think I'm going to I'm going to like this movie, even though I'm going to dread it for the most part. I think you're going to hate uh, every time they look down, because you know they're going to do that a lot. They're going to constantly be like, oh, look at how high up they are. I know. Uh, they're going to do something well, where like, they drop jumped, something. When she jumped to the book bag, I was like, instant death for me. Yeah. Instant death for me. You would... I but is it like is it almost easier at that point? Because like when you're when you're jumping across somewhere where you're like, all right, it's, it's 20 feet off the ground, you're like, I might really seriously hurt myself. And then have to live with all that pain. When you're that high up, it's like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I'm going to die I'm not ready. if I no. stay up here. And I'm going to die if I fall. So you got to just go for it because that's your only chance of survival. And the ladder broke, right? That's yeah. the whole point that it the looks ladder like, broke. It looked like a like hundred plus feet of that ladder just came detached from the tower. OSHA is going to come after that ass. It's no, not be OSHA, but... I do have a feeling like you could make a sequel where it's just their family sues whoever owns it's that. A, because, it's a crime drama because, afterwards. Because the Ball fence two. was down. So, like, I feel like they should have at least kept the fence up. If they both make it out alive. Well, I mean, you, you think about it. Even when you're, like, even when you are going somewhere that has a ladder to the roof, typically the, like, ladder is locked somehow so you yeah. can't just go on it. So I feel like there's there's got to be something here that, I like how we're like, we're suing somebody after this. Yes, we are After now, I make it out alive from this. We are now a law this, channel. <laughs> we are going to sue people. Anyways, guys, let us know what you thought of the movie. Are you looking forward to this? Are you thinking that it's not for you? Let us know. It also has given me another movie that um, that I watched once, which was called 47 Meters Down. I think that's oh, what the yeah. movie is. Um, where they go, I think they're like... Um, they go, what's it called? I think it's just like just seeing sharks or yeah, something. Yeah, they're in like a shark cage. A shark cage, but then it goes all the way down to the bottom of the sea. And now they're stuck there. Mm -hmm. Very, all of that. Um, but you guys, let us know what you thought. If you guys don't aren't, aren't digging it, or if you are, comment down below. In the meantime, make sure to follow us on Instagram at The Horror Bandwagon. Or on Twitter at Horror Bandwagon, no the. Or to our website, www.thehorrorbandwagon.com. That's where you get our merch and also links to our podcast where we talk about horror stuff. And with all that being said, we have been your source for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes cookie entertainment. Bye. Everyone. Bye. Bye.